the world's weirdest animals you have never seen. 1. Ribbon Worm A man encountered this green jelly-like ribbon worm, or Nemertia, while fishing in the port of Penghu in Taiwan. It has a proboscis, or feeding tube, the pink ribbon seen here, which it ejects while hunting. The proboscis secretes a mucus-like substance that paralyzes its prey. Nemertia usually live underwater in tropical regions, but are also known to inhabit cool, damp terrestrial areas. They are also undoubtedly disgusting. Where to spot them? Taiwan, and elsewhere, should you wish to, ribbon works can usually be seen underwater in tropical regions, but are also known to inhabit cool, damp terrestrial areas. The Nemertia uses a proboscis to eject a serum that paralyzes its prey. 2. Western Tarsia You've heard of eyes bigger than your stomach, well, now meet the animal that has eyes as big as its brain. The golem-like western tarsia has possibly nature's best night vision goggles, while it uses its claw-like digits and powerful bat legs to leap between trees in search of insects and small invertebrates, and to claw them out from nooks and crannies in branches. Where to spot them? The tarsia is native to Borneo and parts of Sumatra. It can also be seen in the Philippines. The tarsia has eyes larger than its brain. 3. Sloan's Viperfish This deep-sea fish has fangs so large that they protrude from its mouth, sitting like spears alongside its beady eyes. Lurking at between 1,000 and 2,000 meters below the surface of the ocean, the viperfish uses bioluminescence to create a small lamp that dangles from its back to attract its prey of crustaceans and small fish. Where to spot them? Although viperfish have been known to get caught up in deep sea trawlers' nets, it is unlikely that you will ever see a living specimen. However, they may be spotted at Iceland's annual festival of the sea, Stjomanadaga, at Reykjavik Harbour, at which fishermen display a variety of strange, deep sea species, including sea lampreys, fangtooths, and viperfish. The viperfish lives at several thousand meters below sea level. 4. Baldwakari South Americans reputedly nickname this poor bald monkey Mono Angles, or English Monkey, in honor of the first sunburnt Britons to visit their homeland. Whether or not that's myth or reality, the bald Yukari scarlet pate does resemble that of a holidaymaker who has fallen asleep in the sun. During the rainy season, this vulnerable species lives high in the treetops of the Amazon River basin, but retreats closer to the ground in the dry season to forage for nuts and seeds. Where to spot them? The bald wakari can be found deep in the forests of Brazil, Peru, and Colombia. In his guide to visiting the Amazon rainforest, Chris Moss recommends the floating wakari lodge, in Brazil's remote Momorawa Sustainable Development Reserve, where guests may see bald wakari alongside other animals such as three-toed sloths and pink river dolphins. The bald wakari is a vulnerable species that feeds mostly on nuts and seeds and fruit. 5. Matamata it may look like a pile of rotting leaf mold, but this is actually a freshwater turtle. Its protruding nose acts as a snorkel, and uses its mouth as a low-pressure vacuum to suck fish inside when they approach. Its carapace can measure up to 45 centimeters, 18 inch, and when fully grown they can weigh up to 15 kilograms, 33 pounds. Where to spot them? The matamata can be found across South America notably in slow-moving streams and pools in northern Bolivia, eastern Peru, Ecuador, eastern Colombia, Venezuela, the Guianas, and northern and central Brazil. The matamatu is carnivorous and feeds on small fish. 6. Fog-basking beetle Inhabiting the arid Namib desert, the fog-basking beetle captures water droplets on its back legs from coastal fog by performing a headstand in the sand. Where to spot them? The Namib Desert, Western Africa. The fog beetle generates water in the arid Namib Desert. 7. Lowland Streaked Tenrec. This spiny mammal bristles with barbed quills that it uses to ward of predators, mostly mongoose, by erecting them, pointing them forward, and driving them into the attacker's nose or paws. In bold yellow and brown stripes, the tenrec weighs about 200 grams and feeds on earthworms and insects. Where to spot them? Northern and eastern Madagascar, where it can mostly be found in long, shallow burrows, in family groups. The lowland street tenrec inhabits northern and eastern Madagascar. 8. Axolotl 
The Lazarus of the animal world, this salamander has fascinating healing powers, with an ability to regrow limbs, parts of its brain and spinal cord. Its feathery gills and lidless eyes are explained by the fact that it remains in larval stage throughout its life. It is often mistaken for a fish, but is actually an amphibian. Where to spot them? The Mexican axolotl is critically endangered and in the wild can only be found in Lake Xochimilco, near Mexico City. The axolotl has remarkable capacities for regenerating body. 9. Babayusa The Babayusa's tusks have inspired masks among the islanders who share the pig deer's habitat, and have been known to be presented as gifts to visitors. The animal is protected in Indonesia and poaching is illegal but they are still threatened by hunters, as well as deforestation. Where to spot them? The Babayusa can be found in the Edudunantu and Tangkoko Nature Reserve in North Sulawesi, Indonesia. The Babayusa sharpens its tusks against trees and uses them in fights. 10. Proboscis Monkey The Malay for this primate is Orang Belanda, or Dutchman, supposedly because its potbelly and large nose reminded locals of Borneo's first European settlers. Writing about a trip to Borneo for telegraph travel in 2009, Frank Gardner described seeing a female with her baby clinging to the soft fur of her underbelly as she leapt and swung through the trees. The monkey weighs up to 23 kilograms, 50 pounds, and will only eat unripe fruit. The sugars in softer fruits ferment in their stomachs, which can cause fatal bloating. Where to spot them? The proboscis monkey is indigenous to Borneo and is usually found in coastal areas. The proboscis monkey is indigenous to Borneo. 11. Tree Hoppers These insects are masters at the art of camouflage, using their horn-like protrusions to resemble dead leaves in the presence of predators. Their powerful hind legs allow them to scarper if their ruse is rumbled. There are over 3,200 species, but individuals can only expect to live for a few months. Where to spot them? Tree hoppers are found on every continent except Antarctica. These specimens were photographed in Monte Verde, Costa Rica. Tree hoppers disguise themselves as leaves to evade predators. 12. Puss moth larva. Does this face put you off your lunch? That's the idea. The puss moth larva's appearance is a defensive strategy designed to deter predators, although the more persistent may also find themselves doused in the formic acid the creature is capable of squirting. Where to spot them? Woods, parks and gardens across much of Europe and Asia, including Britain. The larva's face is designed to deter predators. 13. Ground pangolin. Also known as Teminx pangolin or the Cape pangolin, the ground pangolin is the world's only warm-blooded creature that is completely covered in scales. It uses them to form a tough armor-clad bull when it is threatened, alongside a foul-smelling spray emitted from its anal glands. Where to spot them? Across sub-Saharan Africa, perhaps in Botswana's Krendo Reserve and Okavango Delta, but as pangolins are one of the world's most critically endangered species, sightings are rare. The ground pangolin is the world's only warm-blooded creature that is completely covered in scales. 14. Leaf-horned frog. This amphibian lurks on the forest floor, but its scaly skin camouflages it against the surrounding foliage enabling it to swallow its prey, crabs, lizards, small rodents and other frogs, whole as soon as they come within reach. Where to spot them? The upland forests of Southeast Asia, including the nature reserves of Sabak, Southern Thailand and Peninsular Malaysia. They are, however, extremely difficult to spot and amphibian lovers traveling east to see them should not be disappointed if they do not emerge. The leaf-horned frog uses its scaly skin as a disguise when hunting. 15. Shoebill. This large African bird, also known as the whalehead or shoebilled stork, has an unfortunate beak, perhaps 10 cm wide and 23 cm long. It also has exceptionally large feet, with the middle toe reaching 16.8 to 18.5 cm, 6.6 to 7.3 inch, in length. Where to spot them? The wetlands of the Great Bangwulu Basin in Zambia. The showbill has a beak shaped like a clog, 